Hello and welcome. Well, today we're heading up north, north of Albuquerque. We're about uh, halfway between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. And just stopping here real quick, the place used to be called Buttigers and Traditions. Big old shopping center it was a big thing at one time, but it's been vacant for decades, I think, now. It's a real fun to, place to go, a place to stop and relax in between Santa Fe and Albuquerque. And uh, unfortunately, you can't even get back there. Uh, but I thought I'd stop here. What we're doing today is we're heading all the way to a place called Pecos, the town of Pecos, New Mexico. And uh, it's the journey, not the destination. So we're gonna just mosey on up that way, up into the mountains and check it out. Let's go. Actually, I found out this exit is open right here. I saw a truck come through here, so I'm gonna sneak back here. It says there's a lot of video surveillance, but let's see if we can get back here and drive through real quick without getting in trouble. Wow, I haven't been back here for a long time. Give you a quick look at what it looked like. Wow, I even did a video on this place and I wasn't able to even get back here. Hope I don't get trapped back here, but see if we can do a quick walk through or a quick drive through here. Very cool. Be fun just to mosey around in here, but you're not supposed to be in here. Got all these uh, fun little uh, sculptures. Whoo! That was worth it. Was quite a drive we are finally now at the village of Pecos let's drive into town and check it out well they've got a family dollar and they've got a dollar general <laughs> this is no dinky town Well, I finally made it. The wind is cranking up. It's a very pretty drive up. I wanted to film the whole drive up, but uh, that would have taken a lot of, a lot of film. But here we are, Pecos, very windy. In fact, they say it's supposed to get really, really bad and maybe even snow, so I'm not gonna spend too much time out here, but uh, it's really hard to pull over without getting stuck in the mud. There's just so much snow and mud. But let's take a quick walk around this area and take a look at Pecos, New Mexico. A white buffalo. Oops, got some broken windows there. Runner. Hardware building materials. So cool. I wonder how old this place is.
Wow, look at this old rock building here. It's got to be well over 100 years old. 150 or more now. Ah, I don't believe it. Looks like intact phones. Hello, hello, hello. I'll be darned. Those are pretty hard and rare to, rare to find. What do we have here? Mural artists. Huh. Cool. All the band and billing here. There's an old creepy barn. I shouldn't say creepy, it's pretty cool. I love old barns. Private property vehicles are towed. Well, let's head back down south through town and see if there's anything more to look at. I'm sure we'll find something interesting. Now is this the smallest house you've ever seen? I think my kitchen is bigger than that house. They must have preserved that. That is very cool. Wow, check out over here. It's like an old house. Old abandoned house, you can see right through the door there. And over here it says, fishing supplies, pop, cigs, groceries, food. I don't think it's in business. I don't think it's in business. Just love old buildings though. It looks like the town restaurant here. Casa de Herrera, Herrera restaurant looks like it's uh open for business this must be the be the place to go it's kind of an interesting place seems like a nice fairly quiet little town mountain town and of course it is a weekday so maybe it's a little a little more hopping and, and busy American Legion. I wanted to walk down this way because I saw this gun. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know a lot about guns, but I want to come over here and look at it real quick. Hello. How you doing? Okay. We are now heading north on Main Street still, but on the uh, north side of the entrance. Nice. Love this old place. Now when I was doing my research about this place and directions and all that, this church, I just remembered this church was in a lot of photos online. I mean, probably 35% of all the photos in Pecos was of this church. And uh, you gotta stop and take a look at it. Let's go walk around and, and check out and appreciate its beauty.
This is one of the finest surviving examples of Bishop Lamy's French-inspired Gothic architecture in New Mexico, completed in 1906. I'll be darned. Look at that architecture. Look at that work. Look how fast the clouds are moving. I better think about heading home before the storm hits. I'd hate to get caught up here. It is treacherous on these roads up here. This is so cool. Sacred. Had a graveyard back here. Churches from many years ago had uh, graveyards right next to their churches. Now over there it says St. Anthony's Catholic Church established 1862. Here's a marker here, born in 1909, died in 1924, young person. Take a quick walk around the corner down the street here. Saw, saw something interesting over here, trying not to get run over. Interesting. Our Lady of Guadalupe, San Pascual. Well, I think we'll hop in the car, head that way a little bit more. Another small house. Well, that's gonna do it, folks. What a beautiful day for a drive. It's a little cold because the wind would hit you real hard. Then all of a sudden it stopped and you feel like taking your jacket off because it's warm. Then all of a sudden just that freezing wind again. <laughs> I don't really trust the weather, so I'm gonna start heading back. I'm sure we're gonna see some other sights on the way if I can pull over without getting stuck in the mud. But uh, that'll do it for now. Thank you so much for tagging along on the drive today. Very pleasant town here. Very pleasant. I wouldn't mind living here myself. Uh, winters are a little rough, but uh, very nice. A lot of clean mountain air. Well, take care of yourself and those around you. Bye for now. Jesse, Walter, 
that where you've been hiding? 